So hello guys. In this place, we will be learning about AWS, a deep dive in AWS. Okay. So before starting, let's create an AWS account. So to create it, just log into AWS. You will find this sign into the console. Click on this. We will be creating new account here. Okay, it's my old account. I'm just removing it. Okay, this way, this is the console for AWS. So you will be provided with the two login type login with the root user or login with im user the root user is that user which will be called as a super user or which from which at the starting you will get the credentials and im user these are the all other users which will be defining in the later sections right so instead of this we will be doing this right create a new account it was account now it will ask for root user email address. Okay, so we will be using any any address. Maybe let's take this at Debashish dot anything. Maybe you can take this also. Okay, account name. Uh, let's take it as DevOps with take one okay verify email a verification code will be sent to my to my mentioned email let me and then check for the code So okay, now it's asking for the root user password, the password which we'll be using for login at the starting that will call the root user. So let me provide any password according to the the password should be as in this form, uppercase, lowercase, number, or and non-alphabetical character, right? And we can also change this pattern after the login. Okay. Okay. Public really long. Okay. We find that picture. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Let's change password again. We'll design the script. Yeah, it works. Right. So now you need to which for which purpose you want to use the table. So click on personal. So just write any name. Right. And phone number step for India. Any number, it's not necessary. You should provide your number. You can provide any number here. Right. Let's see. You don't need to provide your whole address here, right? Just write anything.
Okay. Okay, I need, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, three, let's continue. The address, enter is invalid, which is the country and region city. Okay, you need to provide the address also, okay. Mm, that's a manner from one, two, three, two, one, one, anything. Apartment is that's cast in and thing to find postal code. Let's take it at once. Anything like um, okay, that, that it would be enough, right? Now it's it will ask for your credit or debit card details, right? So for this, I'm just stopping my video for a particular time. You need to provide it here. But don't take too much of stress on that because they will only deduct two rupees for check for the transaction, and AWS will never, uh, never deduct any of your account according uh, without any permission. So you didn't, you don't need to take so much attention on this, right? So just I'm stopping the video and providing the two input here. Okay, fine. After. Uh, Providing your details, two rupees will be deducted from your account, but it will be get a return after some period of time. That's not an issue. It's for just for checking purpose. After that, you will be asking for some details like for what purpose you want to use your AWS. So just click on individual and for personal use only. For the, after that, they will ask for what type of support you want to use. So they have to provide three support type, type of use, like first for basic support, which most of the services are free, but for some limited, for the limited tasks, second for the developer support, it's for $29 for per month, and they provide a development support. And third for the business support, they charge $100 per month for that. So and for this business support, they provide you a, uh, a uh, trainer or some kind, something you call like a, a person that will be assisting you for your technical details or technical support, right? For well, now, we will be using basic support only. Complete sign in. Okay. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you for signing with AWS. Go to AWS Management Console. Sign in here, right? Now, just Click on root user and provide the email address here, which you have provided. So we will get this. I have just changed the email address. Because that email address provided us already in used. Okay. And this time we can password. The password we have entered for while creating this account. Yeah. Now we are in the AWS console. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fine. So that's all for this video. We will be covering more topics day by day in deep. Okay. Okay. Thank you.